What's up, a cinema showgun here, and the Gabby Hanna situation just continues to spiral further and further out of control. Law enforcement has been to her home multiple times now, but there's nothing they can do. She hasn't threatened anyone. She hasn't threatened herself. So it's perfectly legal to sit inside your house and draw all over the walls with crayons while going crazy on TikTok. There's there's no law against that yet. And as far as her family goes, it looks like her family has kind of written her off already. Her sister said something along the lines of they've done all they can do and they're doing what they can do from Pennsylvania. So it doesn't even seem like they're going to even attempt to go to her. It doesn't seem like they're even going to attempt to take a flight or anything out to L.A. to check on this woman. Now, I got the sense from what her sister said that there's some bad blood between Gabby and her family. I haven't done my research into that, nor do I feel like I really need to at this point. But I did. I do think I saw something about some type of rift between her and her sister, but... I don't care what type of beef y'all have, that's family. And I, I, I don't see how you could sit by and watch a family member going through this. It's tough for me to watch this. And I, I hadn't even heard of this woman until last night. So I can't imagine being a close family member or a loved one and just watching all of this play out. But, you know, everyone's turning their back on this girl. And I understand that there's reasons why they are doing that. You know, most of the people that used to be in her life, they no longer want anything to do with her because of the random drama and all types of controversy that she's been in. A lot of the people that were currently in her life and a lot of her current fan base, they're turning their backs on her because of all of the mean, horrible off the wall shit she has been saying since she's been having this breakdown. I mean, she's been saying some really horrible things and I get it. However, at the same time, I just feel like now's not the time to really necessarily worry about what type of words are coming out of her mouth. Now's the time to try to get this girl some help. I, I don't think just because she's saying horrible things while in the middle of a mental breakdown that she should just, you know, be thrown to the wolves to just go crazy inside of her house until she eventually takes herself out one way or another. But I mean, that's life. You got to be careful in life not to burn too many bridges. You got to treat people how you want to be treated. And when you go through life doing all of these horrible things, karma comes back around. You know, I try to be a good person when I can, and I encourage all of you all as well. And hopefully, if you're ever stuck in a situation like Gabby, or not necessarily a situation like Gabby, I don't think any of us will go that far down, but if you're ever stuck in a hard situation, whatever type of situation it may be, when you do good onto others, it's more likely that people will do good onto you. That's what I'm basically trying to say. But Hannah has screwed so many people over. She's done so much mean, bullyish like things, including bullying some girl into taking her own self out of the game. Let's just call it that. So, I mean, karma is a B-I-T-C-H. And it's going to catch up with you one way or another. There's no escaping it. And I guess maybe that's what we're watching play out right now. But you know, I am not someone that she's double crossed. I'm not someone who's watched her do all of these egregious things. I'm just a bystander. And as a bystander, I don't really have personal bias here. So I am not con like cheering this on. But if you go on social media right now, as we speak, go on Twitter, go on these social media accounts. People are egging this on. They are cheering it. They are happy because they think just because she said some weird things while she's having a mental breakdown that she deserves to just go crazy and die. But I mean, as the situation gets crazier and crazier and crazier, 
some dude, um, I guess, found her address and went to her house, knocked on the door, and asked to use the bathroom. And here is what happened next. Oh, hi. 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 Think you can use your bathroom? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Hey, there's time. Oh, you. What's your name? My name is Nick. Nick? Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Right there. Is right okay? here? Right there. Right here? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Nicholas? Hey, Nicholas. Do you mind being on camera or you don't want to? I don't mind. I don't mind. Okay, so I want to... Oh, my God, my hair. A friend just texted me and I told him that I was going to go on a run for a guy who showed up at my house and was just feeling a little lost, asked to use the bathroom, and now we're going to go for a run together. He asked to pray with me. It was really nice. And his text was, Gab, listen to me now. Get that man out of your house. How do you feel about that? That's rude. It's kind of rude, isn't it's kind of it? Rude. I think he meant well. What do you think? Yeah, I mean well. What? Not he means well. We know he means well. My friend who texted me and told me to get the stranger out of my house. I think he meant well too. Yeah, I think so. But think Nicholas so. is good. And we're going to go for a run because we already prayed and had our we coffee prayed. and listened to music. Yes. I'm so happy I met you this morning. Yes. Thank you for knocking on my door, Nicholas. Yes. You are a brother in Christ. Brother in Christ. Fuck yes, he is. Nicholas? Under Captain Hamilton. Hannah's house. Why do you ride? Just chillin' with Gabby Hanna. I laugh and talk. Wanna laugh your ass off? This is a stranger. <laughs> Guys, if you show kindness to bots, <laughs> I'm the smartest person. By the way, Nick? Yes. I know you know who I am. Come on. Why did you lie to me this whole time? Why what did you this? lie to me? That's for my acne, you dumb cunt. Get the fuck out of my house. Now. Now. Now! Every time it's my fault somehow. Health issues similar to that and seeing friends go through it. So I pretty much knew what was happening with the delusions of grandeur and these like, like revelation type things. And she was even telling me when I was there that she was hearing voices coming, like talking to her and telling her things. Um, and that there was no coincidences and that all these things like that. So I knew what kind of psychosis that she was going through. I saw all the comments saying somebody, somebody needs to help her. Somebody needs to do something. Somebody needs to do something. And I noticed that nobody was, so I thought I would go and do something. And I decided to film it because I thought it would be interesting. Because, I mean, why would I? Why would I not? Uh, these are the same people that get mad at that, like, get mad at TikTok people for giving a thousand dollars to a homeless person, but they filmed it. It's like, but they gave a thousand dollars to somebody who needed it. So, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with filming something. I didn't do anything. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I didn't, I'm not claiming to be some sort of a hero, uh, but I did a lot more than all you people in the comments saying that I didn't do anything or doing. <laughs> I, 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 did y'all see the part when Buddy's like, like, what are you doing, bro? What the fuck are you doing? Buddy is in there dancing with her and acting crazy with her and doing all this stuff on TikTok. Bro, I thought you were there to help her. But no, I mean, the internet, it just, it, it, it never fails. It never ceases to amaze me. Not only did she just, oh, stranger wants to use the bathroom? Cool. Let's him into her home. Dude is walking all around her house, taking pictures of her cat. Looking through her prescriptions. <laughs> did you see that part? And then he's dancing with her, doing, I, what in the world, man? What in the world is going on on TikTok? Why is this okay? Not only do we have a woman losing her mind on TikTok, we got some, I mean, I don't know the dude, but I'm going to call him weird because I feel like what he did was pretty weird. 
And this kind of scares me for Gabby because how long before some creepo takes advantage of this situation? How long? It's going to happen. I mean, if this dude just walked up in her house, then for the love of God, why is social media so crazy? But yeah, he's in her house dancing around i mean i thought that he was in there trying to take things serious like actually try to make sure she's not going to harm herself or something i mean don't get me wrong he should have never showed up at her house technically anyway but i mean it's one of those situations where like i mean how are you going to get this woman help i mean i do not suggest that anyone show up at her house but i don't know how he would help her so the guy goes over there and he just starts snooping around and from the, the clips that I've seen, and that's not even all of them, I can tell, like, dude, you're in there having a blast, bro. You're in there getting your, you know, couple of minutes on TikTok with Gabby Hanna while she's acting crazy. Dude's just dancing with her, doing those. Oh, man, what in the world? But I guess over the course of him being there, mind you, she changes outfits and everything. So I find that kind of creepy as well. I'm hoping that she didn't just you know, change right in front of him, but she changed outfits and everything. And over the course of him being there, eventually, I guess she comes to the realization that he um, knows who she is and she had totally flips the script. She goes from being that loving person, oh, look, yeah, I know he's good. I know he's good to get out, get out of my house. Listen, when you see someone that's going through something like this, it's good to get them help, but it's also good for you to distance yourself to a certain extent because at the end of the day, you have to protect your mental health as well and your physical health. And I'm telling you right now, the likelihood of you being harmed while being around someone that is in this mental state is very, very high. Gabby doesn't seem like someone that values her own life right now. So why would she value yours? I encourage you all to not show up at this woman's house. When I take notice that someone around me does not value their life enough and they put themselves in harm's way all of the time and they do this type of these type of things, I separate myself. Because if you don't value yourself, you're not going to value me. So when you're dealing with someone that's in this state, best believe being around them is dangerous. You've seen everything that Gabby has been doing. Do you think that she wouldn't pick up a knife and stab you? You think if she had a, a bang bang that she wouldn't pow pow you right in the head? I'm telling you. Y'all better be careful playing these games on the internet. <laughs> Mental health is not anything to play with. And I feel like her video should have been enough to show everyone that. But it's never going to be enough in this country. It's never going to be enough. I mean, every person is just going to have to be a little more crazier. And this is the part that, I, that really worries me. As we see people get crazier and crazier, the bar, it keeps getting higher. So it's like, eventually we're going to be at a point where acting like this is totally normal and it's not even a red flag. You get what I'm saying? Like, we've totally just thrown away our senses of what's right and what's wrong. And like, it seems like society is trying to mold us in a way that we get rid of those sensors that are just natural part of a human being. You know, you have those senses. That, you know, the sense of what's right and wrong, the sense of danger, it's almost animalistic in a way. I mean, not the right and wrong part, but like the the red flags, the, you know, the stuff that, you know, makes you, okay, maybe I need to back away from this or that's dangerous. You know what I mean? And it's like society is trying to mold us in a way that we continue to ignore these red flags. Like, no, please don't, don't acknowledge that this is a problem. Don't acknowledge that that is a problem. Shy away from it. Shy away from it. 
And the more we do that, the more we're going to see people like Gabby. And the more we see people like Gabby, the more normal it becomes. And before you know it, every other person is going to be walking around acting like this. Because everyone's one up in each other. And as we normalize stuff like this, it's going to become more normal in our society. Gabby is a product of our society, a product, a product of too much exposure, not being able to handle whatever fame she had, a, a product of living life on social media constantly under, you know, the microscope. That builds pressure on people. Some people can't handle it. And they wind up like Gabby. But seeing this guy go up in her house and do all of this nonsense is just utterly bizarre. But while I was watching it, it I was just like, you know, this, this makes sense. This was, this was, of course, where TikTok was going to go next. Because I don't watch TikTok much, but when I do... When, when you stray off, like you stray away from necessarily like the jokes and the more viral TikToks and you start getting into like the darker areas of TikTok and you go through like the live TikToks and stuff, I'm telling you, man, it is so crazy. It is so crazy. It's just a bunch of people losing their minds on TikTok with audiences watching it and they love it. So naturally... This is what was coming next. Famous TikTokers losing their minds and then other less famous TikToks, TikTokers who have lost their minds coming to see about those TikTokers that have lost their minds. And it's all gonna play out on TikTok and everyone's gonna collectively lose their minds while watching it. It is so insane. It is so insane. But yeah, this is, this is kind of where the situation is at right now. There's rumors coming in that she's been taken in. Um, I don't know if to a mental health facility or where she's been taken to. I don't necessarily know if that's true or not at the time of this recording, at least. So I don't want to give you all any false information, but it looks to me like the show is going on. <laughs> I mean, last time I checked, the show is still going on. So who knows what will happen next? But whatever happens next, you can be sure that I'll cover it on this channel. So hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, drop a comment below, and I'll talk to you all on the next video.